which death is preferable to every other. The unexpected. All Gaul was divided into three parts. In war trivial causes produce momentous events. Men willingly believe when they want to. I wished my wife to be not so much as suspected. Common traditional saying, Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. People readily believe what they want to believe. In war, important events result from trivial causes. I would rather be the first man in a barbarian village than the second man in Rome. The things that we want we willingly believe, and the things that we think we expect everyone else to think. I believe that the members of my family must be as free from suspicion as from actual crime. To win by strategy is no less the role of a general than to win by arms. Every woman's man, and every man's woman. As a result of a general defect of nature, we are either more confident or more fearful of unusual and unknown things. Wine and other luxuries have a tendency to enervate the mind and make men less brave in battle. Avoid an unusual and unfamiliar word just as you would a reef. Set honor in one eye and death in the other, and I will look on both indifferently. I love the name of honor more than I fear death. I am going to Spain to fight an army without a general, and thence to the east to fight a general without an army. It's only hubris if I fail. It is the right of war for conquerors to treat those whom they have conquered according to their pleasure. Arms and laws do not flourish together. No music is so charming to my ear as the requests of my friends, and the supplications of those in want of my assistance. The Celts were fearless warriors because they wished to inculcate this as one of their leading tenets, that souls do not become extinct, but pass after death from one body to another. Men's minds tend to fear more keenly those things that are absent. All bad precedents begin as justifiable measures. I love treason but hate a traitor. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. War gives the right to the conquerors to impose any condition they please upon the vanquished. He conquers twice, to shows mercy to the conquered. It is better to suffer once than to be in perpetual appreciation. If I fail it is only because I have too much pride and ambition. As a rule, what is out of sight disturbs men's minds more seriously than what they see. The greatest enemy will hide in the last place you would ever look. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. A coward dies a thousand deaths, the gallant never taste of death but once. Without training, they lack knowledge. Without knowledge, they lack confidence. Without confidence, they lack victory. I have lived long enough both in years and in accomplishments. It is not these well-fed long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry looking. Men willingly believe what they wish. In war, events of importance are the result of trivial causes. I have lived long enough to satisfy both nature and glory, 